So, ladies and gentlemen, today we are about to finish the last planet from Venus. <laughs> and it's the 12th house. What is the 12th house? Oh, 12th house is tiring. <laughs> okay, so what is the 12th house? Not from the Ascendant, but from Venus, okay? But what is the 12th house from the Ascendant for those who are new uh, to astrology? Let's discuss 12th house is seclusion, loss, um, hospitalization, <laughs> loneliness. Mm, did I miss something? Depression. Depression is more of 8th house, but it also has associations of the 12th house. 12th house is anxiety, it is sleeplessness, problems. In short, it is the house of loss, okay? And the astrological rule is the 12th, that the 12th from any house uh, reduces the significance of that particular house, okay? So, for example, the 12th from the 7th, which is the 6th house, uh, can deny marriage or can... Um, create problems in marriage. It can create divorce, uh, blah, blah, blah. Why? Because it is 12th, okay? From the house of marriage, which is the 7th house. But now, we want to discuss 12th house from Venus, okay? Not from the Ascendant. So, this series is from Venus, not from the Ascendant. So, wherever your Venus is, just see the previous house. That's it, okay? That is the 12th house from Venus. <clears throat> so, as you know, the 12th house is the house of loss. So does it mean that uh, the 12th from Venus is the house which will give you or reward you with loss of Venus? Well, it could or it may not, depending on where is that falling, okay? So for example, during this series, I have always mentioned, you will have to see which house Venus is and you have to see the 12th house from it or any house from it but you have you also have to see where is that house falling from the ascendant okay just don't just see uh, okay uh, you know it's 12th from venus so maybe when the dasha of this planet gets activated so suppose for example you have uh, jupiter in 12th from venus okay for example then does it mean that in guru dasha you will lose your marriage will you be divorced well not necessarily <clears throat> that will only happen if the 12th from Venus is falling either uh, in the 6th house or in the 10th house from the Lagna, okay? Because then uh, from the Ascendant, these two houses are not favorable for marriage, okay? But if um, if if uh, if the 12th from Venus is not the 6th or 10th from Lagna, then uh, it will not give you problems in marriage or separation, but it can lead you to the death of conception of Venus, okay? So what is death of conception of Venus? This means you have a particular idea of marriage. You have a particular idea of relationships or how should a long-term relationship be? How should a long-term committed relationship be? This is, this is uh, specific to every person and every person has a particular mindset in regards to venus right because venus represents love romance committed relationships sexuality um luxuries pleasures uh, materialistic pleasures you know so the planet in the 12th from venus can give death of those pleasures okay now what does it mean death of those pleasures does it mean you uh, if, if you have uh, jupiter in 12th from venus you will not get any venusian pleasure does it mean that no, it necessarily does not mean that. But it surely means that if you have a planet in 12th from Venus whose dasha is activated, it can give you a, a reality check on what you should expect from relationships. So, for example, if your Venus is uh, in the 7th or 11th, because when your Venus is in 7th or 11th from the Lagna, then the 12th house becomes 6th and 10th from the Lagna, right? Which are problematic placements, as I said before. Then it can happen that not only your uh, conception of relationships uh, are, uh, are ending uh, or your conception of 
leading a particular relationship in a certain way is ending but maybe even the relationship also can end okay if venus is in like uh, seventh or eleventh uh, as i said because then the twelfth house is denial um, of marriage you know from the lagna but suppose your venus is in uh, for example you know the third house so then if a planet is in second so jupiter is in second now it's the reverse scenario now what is happening Jupiter is in the second house from the ascendant and he is telling that the second house because the second house maintains marriage the second house maintains relationships so now what is happening Jupiter is maintaining the relationship in Guru Dasha okay but because he's 12 from Venus he's also activating the loss of Venus so how does it work so it means that your marriage will continue, your married life will continue, but there are some patterns within your married life which you are repeating again and again and again. You are repeating, okay? So because of that, what happens is you may sometimes feel that uh, maybe this is a pattern which I need to end. Maybe you and your spouse are questioning each other on you know certain issues. You know, like Jupiter can represent morals and principles and ethics. You know, chastity. So maybe there are some issues, uh, some trust issues which you are addressing, and now they will get resolved, and that will lead to betterment of your marriage because this Jupiter is in a house like the second house from your luck now, which encourages marriage. <laughs> Similarly, if Venus is in your 8th house, then the 12th from Venus is the 7th house. So then what happens is, let's assume you have, uh, which planet should I take? You have Saturn in uh, the 7th, which is, you know, 12th from Venus. <clears throat> then what happens is, because the 7th house maintains your marriage, so your marriage will be intact, there will be no issues. But there is something, uh, there is some hard work you have to do to maintain the marriage. And also maybe there is already something which you are doing, but it is not fructifying uh, to the extent that you wish. Because uh, that is something which has to end. Maybe you have to work hard in a separate area, in a different area. Okay. Now, many times when I do consultations, I see people, they say, okay, I, I'm doing this, uh, I have problems in my marriage and I'm doing things in a particular way. And then uh, at the end, uh, things were not working, but now they're working because I have changed my course of discussion. Okay, so Mercury, if in 12 from Venus can, uh, in Mercury's Dasha can activate, you know, discussions and uh, thought processes. Okay, <clears throat> so therefore, the planet in the 12th from Venus uh, can be very tricky in the sense it can end uh, your problems or it can end the relationship, okay? So in a way, uh, if somebody has uh, Venus in 3rd or 8th or 12th in these three houses from the Lagna, then the Dasha of the planet in 12th from Venus is uh, going to... Uh, end problems because from the third the second is the twelfth from eighth seventh is the twelfth and from twelfth eleventh is the twelfth okay so therefore you have to understand that whenever you are seeing these these videos and you are trying to understand you know okay what how will this work out in this particular chart you have to understand <clears throat> that you have to first see the promise of marriage you know what kind of marital happiness is destined for this person you know will this person get married or not you know when will this person have a love relationship will, will it convert into marriage or will there be a breakup or will there be patch up again break up patch up break up patch up or it will break or there will be one or two breakups and it will convert into marriage or what it is you know you you have to find that from the chart and only then you should see this okay but 12th from venus Wherever it is uh, in Dashas will uh, always, always, always give you the loss of uh, something related to Venus, okay? And for that, you also have to see the houses that the planet is lording, which is sitting in the 12th from Venus. So, for example, as I said, if Jupiter is in 12th from Venus, and if Jupiter is the lord of the 5th house from the Ascendant, then it can mean that 
uh, you were doing some hobbies together, but now you have stopped doing it and you are doing something new, okay, which can actually help your married life. So and this is how you need to see. You just don't see, oh, Guru is in 12 from Venus, this will happen. Rahu is in 12 from Venus, that will happen. You have to see which house they are lording. That is very, very, very important, okay? And you have to see the nature of the planets, okay? Like, for example, Saturn will show disciplined, uh, yeah, restriction, hard work. Uh, yeah, that, that's what Saturn is like. So you have to see where is the 12th from Venus falling? As per the Lagna, this is the first thing. Then which houses is the planet lording? Okay, so if you have a planet in 12 from Venus, which houses does it lord from the ascendant originally? <clears throat> and you have to see the nature of the planet. So once you see these three, you can get an idea. But then dynamically, you have to see the dashas because if you don't see the dashas, you won't be able to understand what is happening, how is happening and why is, are things happening. So first see the promise, then you uh, promise in the sense, you know, you see the overall chart, you see all the planets, you do a comprehensive analysis. And then you see planets, you know, in 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th, 12th from Venus. And then you see the dashas, okay? And then you give a final conclusion. So don't just keep asking, okay, I have planet here from Venus. What will happen? You know, this is there. What will happen? Blah, blah, blah. You know, you can't answer that just by that because we don't know which Mahadasha you are running, which Antardasha you are running. We don't know what the horoscope says, you know. You may have a nice planet like Jupiter in 12th from Venus, like, for example, if your Venus is in third and Jupiter is in second house, so it is 12 from Venus. Maybe you are Gemini Lagna and Guru is exalted in Cancer, you know, in the second house. But maybe there is uh, there is somehow denial of marriage in your horoscope. So even though you have an exalted Jupiter in second house from Lagna, which is also 12 from Venus, but it may not get you married because overall, <clears throat> inherently, there is no uh, marriage in the horoscope, okay? Or it could be the other way around also, okay? so you you need to check the overall chart and then you need to uh, bring everything together you know as they say connect the dots so uh, do that first then you see planets from venus then you see the dashas and only then you come to a conclusion otherwise uh, you will do blunders okay and that is not very nice all right thank you so much great to complete this series and let me know down in the comments which is the next series that you would like to see uh, planets in houses from Mercury, Sun or uh, Jupiter or whatever. Okay. So that is uh, going to be very interesting again. But for that, you have to let me know whoever writes the most. I'll start with I'll start with that planet. Okay. All right. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, for your patience. If you're new, then please subscribe to the channel. And if you like this video, please click the thumbs up. And if you want a consultation from me, you can go to my website down in the description section. God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you will surely find him.